Ladies and gentlemen, our new head men's basketball coach for the University of Michigan Wolverines, Jawan Howard. Chicago prepared me to be the man who I am today. I love where I grew up and how I grew up. South side, from the south side. So yeah, as you heard that voice sort of change and the tone of my voice change, south side, that's where I'm from. We prideful over there. It taught me about adversity, how to stay mentally tough, how to compete at the highest level and not be afraid. I was playing for CBS, Chicago Vocational High School. Very notable people went to CBS. Bernie Mac went a long way. Dick Buckus is in the Hall of Fame. Shawan is the best player I've ever had. That's a selling point when I went out to talk to kids to say, hey, well, this is where Juwan went to school. If you have the ability, you know, you can do the same thing. Juwan is one of the best players to ever come out of the city. I was the number three player in the nation coming out of high school. When I played against Juwan, it was a fight every single night. Loved Juwan as a person, hated Juwan as a player. And that was because I knew I had to go to work. And that carried over to what he did at Michigan. What a matchup. You got Howard against Thomas, 25. Two of the hardest workers in basketball. Great recruiter as his first recruiting class before he had even become a coach was recruiting Chris Weber and Jalen Rose and the rest of those guys to Michigan. 30 years ago, he signed that letter of intent to go play at the University of Michigan. Now, you're coaching there. This is so surreal. It opens up doors and dreams for other young people, man, especially out of the South Side, to know that, hey, if he can do it, why well, it can't happen for me. Recently, all of his old classmates and people from the city of Chicago got on a bus at 6 something in the morning and went to the game when they played UMass Laurel. After the game, he came downstairs and seen everybody and was like reliving that whole press conference over again because he was very touched about that. Down vertical drop, tracing the ball. So as Saudi pivot, my hand is here. He's gonna do real well, real well. And I have no doubt that Michigan will win multiple NCAA championships with Juwan there. Take it to the bank. Juwan was a very, very special player from the get-go. Watching him, you know, at the University of Michigan and how he played there, we were the first team in the history of the NBA that gave out $200 million contracts. We gave one to Juwan. And for some clerical mistake of timing, the commissioner took Juwan away from us. We always kept our eye on him, and when we built that championship level team, we thought he would be the perfect component because of his experiences, because of his leadership. Uh, because of his ability, he was somebody that we always really uh, thought would be good in the Heat culture. Jawan Howard. Some nice moves from Jawan Howard. Nice pass. We like guys that embrace that mentality of hardest working, best conditioned, and most professional. That's a picture of Jawan Howard. He and I would talk every now and then, and, and I'd look at him and I'd say, you know, you got it in you. And he'd say, what? I said, you got it. I said, yeah, I think you'd be a hell of a coach one day if you ever decide to do it. I recall having this conversation with them. And when Coach Riley speaks, then you truly have to listen. While we were preparing for the NBA interviews, he just brought up Michigan. And I could just see his expression light up. And I asked him, I said, wait a minute. If it came down to an NBA job or Michigan, which one would you be more excited about right now? And he said, without question, Michigan. 
He's a great work ethic guy. He knows how to talk to players. He knows how to connect with players. All the elements that you need to be a head coach. His resume speaks for itself. You just want to be engaged. You want to listen. Um, you want to see what's next. Yo, we right there, man. Okay? We're down two points, but we got to get killed, okay? What do young players need most? Discipline, understanding, to be held accountable. And he got to learn this even more so from one of the greatest basketball minds ever in Pat Riley and then his disciple in Eric Swolstra. Add this to Juwan's personality, those kids are gonna love playing for him. They're going to have a lot of new Michigan fans, but that's how we feel about Juwan. He's a true friend, the heat lifer, and we're gonna root for him. 